I won't tell you to put that strap on, but if that controller goes flying, well. <laughs> the TV told me to put the strap on, though. <laughs> strap on your strap-ons. TV knows strap best. in for a ride. Oh, you don't know how appropriate that was. <laughs> Ubisoft, because despite how much I hate them, I we keep playing their shit. We mostly play their better games. Yeah. Which is weird. Yeah, did we play a bad did we play a really wretched Ubisoft game at some point? I can't remember. I don't know. Are either of the really wretched games we're playing right now by Ubisoft? I don't think so. Of course not. Two thousand seven by Marvelous Entertainment. Hey guys, we still don't want to go back to Dark in the Sky or Hellboy, so we're playing No More Heroes, which Phoenix knows nothing about, and that's by design. Press A. <coughs> Choose your difficulty. I gotta be honest, for the sake of let's playing, from here on, let's make it a rule. We stay to the lowest difficulty. Works for me. It makes for easier commentary. Yeah, yeah. But we're not so drawn into the game. What kind of fucking motorcycle is that? It's a futury motorcycle, I guess. A futury motorcycle in a world where graphics are still shitty. <laughs> <laughs> this is, you know, this is a better looking oh. Wii. This oh. was 2007, so this is only one year after the Wii's release. Oh. Don't run downstairs like that. This is a good way to fall. I didn't realize that the game had started initially. Yeah, yeah. Neither did up. I when I first played this. I'm just like, oh, oh. You're in. You're happened. in for a thing. A thing. Yes. God damn it! Is this gonna be like Grand Theft Auto where I gotta escape I some bikers now? No. Out there don't have much patience. At least that's what Bishop, the dude at the video store, said. So I'm at the register, then I realize I got no money. I was seriously broke. Why? Because I met this smoking hot chick last night at the deathmatch bar. Man, kind of having a week like that, good. honestly. <laughs> the gentleman I am. I bought her a drink. Anywho, I decided to get a job. The gig? Assassinate the drifter. So I went where I was supposed to and waited for the guy to show up. And there he was. This cat, well-dressed, cool, couldn't tell if he was the shit or just plain old shit. Yeah, so he styled, fast, aggressive, and packing heat. Son of being. I don't have anything to say. I uh, she showed up. Don't even Her name? Sylvia Crystal, an agent with this watch McCaller Association. Congratulations. You are certified as the eleventh best hitman. That's an older voice than she <laughs> looks like she should have. And aim for the top. Is he just like wearing a robe and he stood up and now he's naked but covered in tattoos? He's actually the first boss, so hard road. Could kick ass. Could be dangerous. I mean, I don't think that's a could be. Like, if, you're, you say, if your job is fighting people, it is dangerous. Directed and written by Suda51. Whose company... Whose company made Lollipop Chainsaw. Okay. And I think he was producer on that one. Well... I thought he was director in full, but I think he was just one of the higher-ups. Not and the higher up. Honestly, that already explains a lot about the game. Indeed. Friendly reminder. This is a Wii game. I'm gonna say that a lot, I feel. Fuckhead! Fuckhead. Yup. Yo, Wii is for little girls! Death metal dude. Bad answer. The Wii did not have a lot of M-rated games, but its M-rated offerings did not fuck around. Yeah. It's game time. Jesus. I think he's talking to us. Oh, like it's like it's time for the. Welcome to gameplay. Play the tutorial. Yeah, probably. Oh. Press the A button to swing your beam katana. Use the beam katana to attack enemies. Nah, I thought what? I was gonna, like, use it to cut some toast. Once an enemy's life runs, runs out, you will go into death blow mode. Swing the Wii remote in the direction shown by the arrow on the screen. Finishing them will successfully kill the enemy. Successful death blow will cause the slots at the bottom of the screen to spin. If the slots line up, you'll be able to unleash various special attacks. Gotta swing up. Fail! 
try again. Down is easier, anyhow. <laughs> what the? <laughs> you bisected him vertically. It's so funny. What the? The gauge on the right side was your beam katana's power meter. Each attack with the beam katana will drain some of its battery. You will not be able to use the beam katana once its batteries run out. Now, recharge the beam katana. Hold the one button to go into charge mode. It's only the best part of the experience. Swing the remote left and right as fast as you can. To recharge the beam katana. Oh my god! <laughs> that's right, that's right. Handjob motions are a required action. You should be good to go from there. Oh. The rest will... Get them! Okay, I guess it could have explained that part to you. So, uh... I think there's a targeting button on the nun one of the nunchuck buttons in the back. Oh yeah! Decapitation! I wish the blood would stick around. It'd be funnier if the blood stuck around. Uh... I'm... Yes. Number one, this is like a a, a, a very excessive amount of blood. <laughs> Nobody yes. would bleed that much from being cut up. Which is re that's fair. It's like all of the blood in the human body, which wouldn't squirt out. It would like slowly drain. Uh, also, I'm upset that we're playing slots while we're doing this. That <laughs> seems a little strange to me. <laughs> I mean, why though? She's tr <laughs> Phoenix is tr carefully swinging the moat so as not to smack me, and I mean... it's it's funny to me. Uh, try the buttons on the back of the nunchuck. I think one of them's a target, which is definitely going to come in handy so that's later. Block. It that's target and block. Okay, so like uh, you're blocking anytime you're if you're not attacking, you're blocking by default, which also drains the battery. I wish, like, half of his body would have fallen into that pool. Right. I also wish the bodies would stick around, like, yeah. if, it's, if it's gonna be an M-rated game. <laughs> well, they turn into money. I, I mean, mean, after our failure, after we, after our issues playing the Scott Pilgrim game, this is basically the next best thing. <laughs> this whole thing is like M-rated Scott Pilgrim. <laughs> What the f- You're changing- you're like, re you're resetting the camera. Ah, that is helpful. Knocking out that box, there's either food or a battery inside. Hell! Yes! It was pizza. I do because love Because of pizza. course it is. Wait, what type of pizza? I don't know. What is- what kind of pizza does this motherfucker look like he'd eat? Probably some supreme nasty shit. <laughs> Ugh, I hate green supreme peppers. Pizza. Green peppers and onions. And How do you feel about mushrooms? I love mushrooms. I'm on the side of mushrooms as well. But I don't like sausage or pepperoni. I'm in favor of pepperoni. I do not like the sausage they use on pizza. You picked up a trading card. They serve no purpose. They're just like... collectibles. You feel like, yes? I feel like I've picked up an excessive amount of, like, shit already. <laughs> for the amount of people I've bought. Like, yeah. You've collected $1,220. Like, and the, like, the boxes, specifically. Ooh, nut, nut slice. <laughs> All of these guys have ended up with a testicle on one side of their body and another one on the other. Oh, shit! Should've totally killed both of them on that sideways slice. You gotta be tar- I think you gotta target to properly utilize this power. What power? You've slowed down time. That's the result of the triple cherry. Okay, so bits of this game that they've already said but weren't entirely clear. Uh, Travis was a down on his luck. He actually used to be a Mexican wrestler. Okay. He doesn't look Mexican at all, but we'll ignore that fact. 
Uh, he was down on his luck. He went out on a date, met a woman, and she arranged for him to kill the 11th greatest assassin in the world. Which he did, drunk, with this katana he bought off the internet. And now, because he killed the 11th greatest assassin, he is the 11th greatest assassin. Okay. But, you have to kill- because of that, in theory, nothing like this ever happens in game, but in theory, every assassin below you is gonna be on your ass. Makes sense. So, logically, you have to kill out and kill the tenth greatest assassin, and then the ninth, etc. So that you'll be safe. There's nothing. There's nobody left to kill. And it didn't do the fancy thing where it showed you an opening or anything. Oh. I was just here in the corner. <laughs> I was hoping you wouldn't notice me. Chilling out for a while. <laughs> Sorry, I was taking a nap. Oops. That's right, yeah. The, the B button is a kick. It can break blocks. Sweet. If you do it twice, you can do a wrestling move. Which is way more useful than it sounds. Oh, shit. Which one did we come in? Fuck if I know. You want to go right... Thankfully, there's not going to be any chance of getting lost in a game like this. There's stairs. Seriously, though, thank God that you can readjust the camera. Yeah. <laughs> what is all this money for? You use it between levels. You use it to buy new swords. Uh, what else can you buy? New t-shirts. New jackets. I do love me a new jacket. I just got a new sweater in the Harry Potter game. Yeah! Yeah! Too bad the school has uniforms. Oh, wait. Yeah, well, because, uh, like, the, the giant plot line, you're exploring Something cursed about ice vaults. Cursed ice vaults? Yeah. So, okay. you spend a lot of time in the cold, and it's like putting all of your friends in the hospital wings. <laughs> Because you're a piece of shit and you're like, so, uh, I know that, like, I, I, I know we just, like, did this thing and you got really hurt, but we're gonna go back, right? <laughs> I heard something about, at some point in the game, you have to either give it your money or else your character gets, has to be strangled for, you know, real-time hours or something. In this game or in the yes. Harry Potter one? Yes, in the, in, I thought we were talking about the Harry Potter one. We are. Yes. We were? Uh, yeah, in the Potter one, okay. not this one. Oh, okay. So, I mean, yes. Kind of. You've reached that part? I mean, I'm pretty sure it's pretty early in the game. Okay. I'm pretty sure you're talking about, like, unless somebody, like, act like a person comes up to strangle you, there's a plant that's, like, fucking attacking you. I think you, you go down those stairs. I know it looks similar, but... You're at the back of the house at this point. Oh. Uh, so there's this plant that's attacking you, and it takes energy to fight the plant. <laughs> and, uh... You run out of energy. But, I mean, you've got, like, you know, three hours to complete this right. mission. So, yes. I mean, you've got, you got... You, you do get strangled while... I like how he's literally faceless. <laughs> he's literally a faceless goon. Uh, so, yeah, you do get strangled while... Oh, that's going on. But it doesn't have, like, a legitimate effect because you were being struggled <laughs> for an hour and a half while your energy recharged. Yeah! Ah! Come on! Oh, yeah! Come on! Oh! That works anyway. Wipe out all enemies. I... Oh. It's okay, sure. Just, uh... <laughs> come out of the ceiling, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Where do these minions come from? They're all just lining up to get fucked. And then I had to step off of the exclamate off of the <laughs> spot so that it could like let me know. Um. Mm, you've barely lost any excitement. I want to let me charge. You're full. Oh. Your meter on the right. It's full. But it keeps going in the low. It's that's that's high swing, low swing. Oh. Okay. Also, uh, my 
My my uh, thing isn't the most reliable anymore. Yeah. Not like it super matters in this game. <laughs> Not too much. I don't think there's any point where it... Yeah, I might reveal how truly shitty I always was at this game by saying this, but I don't think there's ever a time where it really super matters if you're swinging high or low. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, so, I was at Prairie Meadows. Trading card! Day. Yes. Because there were corgi races. <laughs> In between the horse races, they were like right. a special event that you could just uh -huh. have like three hours of horse races. Right. Which is disappointing. Because that's what I thought was going on. <laughs> Did, it, could you bet on the corgis, or is it just there for the fun of it? No, it was just there for the fun of it. There were okay. prizes for the owners. So, like, first place got a. What the fuck? Find somebody to kill! I don't see anybody. There's somebody still in here, but I s try hitting the B button, see what happens. Oh! Oh, you just flash stepped that motherfucker! There's oh. gotta be someone else that would tell you if the room was clear. Oh well, maybe you'll get a chance to further enjoy that at another point. Um. So, corgi racing. Corgi racing. So, yeah, so. First place got five hundred dollars. Yes. Um. But while I was there, I also, you know, played some slot machines. Cause right. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> um, Do you ever make any money on slots? I have before, yeah. Not tons. But um. Every enemy has that same death scream. <laughs> How unique. Um, no, and I think that's just here. I know there's other points. Maybe this is only in the sequel, but it's in one of these games, either this one or the sequel, there's some enemies who, a bunch of, one of their death cries, <laughs> it's, it's one of my favorite things, when you kill them, they scream, MY SPLEEN! Oh boy. <laughs> but yes. spleens are funny. So, I mean, I've never won tons of money, but uh, I've never played with tons of money either. Right. So. I don't like slots. I I mean, in theory, I prefer table games. I guess I've never I've never really played any table games, but... I really enjoy Blackjack. Yeah. I also like to live dangerously. <laughs> oh, Austin Powers. <laughs> I think that might be the first reference on this show that I've ever gotten. <laughs> And I don't think we set. I don't think it came up on the show, but I did reference llamas with hats once, and you did know llamas with hats. I love llamas with hats. Llamas with hats is a great time. Back in high school, my freshman year at Hoover, I had all of the episodes memorized, <laughs> which is kind of sad if you think about it. I only learned about it like last Thanksgiving, I think. Yeah. I was at uh, some friends of Lena's house, and they started watching it, and. <laughs> They just had it playing on their TV, and I was like, this is really, really engaging. Oh you got God. nobody to kill! That's just, this is the most unfair time to get this power. <laughs> I uh, think you're coming up on the first boss fight. Yeah, but that's actually funny that you mentioned llamas with hats, because... Uh, Your cell phone's ringing. How do I... Now here's a here's a ridiculous mechanic. Hello? Are you kidding me? Apparently I've Oh my god. Uh, the signal's really, really bad in here. I guess. Because the sound is coming out of the Wii mode. But I've never, you know, I never really I've never tried using this Wii mode with this game before, and I never realized that the sound quality was absolute shit. Can you hear anything she's saying? Nope. You're being walkie-talkie to right now. Whenever you get that call, it indicates that you're about to go into a boss fight. It's like it's like a super shitty quality phone call. Come on! Like I would expect better from my fucking 
exclusive Zelda on a Wiimote. Whatever. That know. S indicates you can save there. Sweet. Oh look, look at all these treasure chests. Goodies. On a magic treasure, and how like force of magic treasure junk. Don't go for the exclamation point until after you've saved, because it'll start the boss fight. Not that it'll really matter, but what is? Oh, it, it's a luchador mask. I forget what these are for. Do you remember the golden days in Calgary? The paths to pro wrestling that has long been forgotten that you have long forgotten, even if a fragment of that spirit of the wrestler remains in your blood. Remember the first suplex that your master taught you. It is yes, that's right, the darkness piercing. The front neck challenge you drop. MS You remembered your old professional wrestling move. Right. Now go take a save. I, uh... Ah! Sweet. I don't even really like... I picked up a mask, you had to know it was like, you remember, right? That's how you save. How do you feel about that? Um, you know, I'm not really sure, honestly. <laughs> um, <sighs> I mean, like, everybody poops, okay? I get that. I get that. Everybody poops. <laughs> Is there another fucking box now? They respawn, not like you need them. Oh, there's more battery. Oh, there's probably more health. Pizza. Damn it! Fuck you! I don't want to save. Uh, just I don't wait, but. Take a dump. Uh. <laughs> it was one of those poops that they, it's like disconnected inside your body. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. He, just, he stood up and he realized all of a sudden that he had to go again. <laughs> So, how do I... You click the exclamation point to go into the boss fight. No, I'm concerned about bringing my weapon back out. <laughs> you'll, you'll have... It'll come back out automatically. Okay. I just don't want to get into the boss fight and yeah, be like, course. Shit, how do I grab my sword? I don't remember. So, you remember. know, to, to keep up with the Scott Pilgrim comparisons, you know, you got a whole gang of really, really eccentric, kind of... kind of funny bat... and kind of funny other assassins you deal with. You, can, you really can't have an average assassin in a video game. They've all got to be... Beautiful, wouldn't you say? Uh, at least unique. Alive, yes. You know? many. When you have the strength to take life for yourself, that is true wealth. I am free of... I feel uncomfortable with the way that so the wine is spinning around in the glass. <laughs> it feels very surreal. Please. He's at peace. You're the one leaving in a body bag. I'll only Harsh. say this once more. Leave here now! Huh. Melee? You obviously don't know me. You don't get it, do you? <laughs> hey, you know what? I, I love his anime right? shirt. Paradise. This is paradise. So the plot hole. Where dreams are fulfilled. Yes. So, well, what, what, what assassin man. are we right now? Like the 11th? 11th. What He's if, number 10. What if we killed, paradise. like, the third... Best oh, assassin. Well, everybody's got. There's so much bureaucracy and formality to this universe, and there's more with every assassin. And that's why they all live in. That's why he lives in a giant bougie ass mansion, so not just any idiot could walk in and try and kill him. That's fair. You make an old man cry. Arrogant, crude little shits like you come around from time to time. Actually, this fight was arranged. The wall is high. All of the rest of the fights are arranged as well, so by all rights, they're not you're not actually, you know, sneaking up on them. It in fact becomes a thing that you have to pay your initiation fee in order to fight the others. You can take that to your grave. I think our sword got bigger. <laughs> yeah, but his is bigger still. It's true. 
Oh shit, he was already on you. I was not prepared. Yeah, if you can use the, yeah, you uh use the use the D-pad to dodge. Sorry, it didn't seem relevant until just now. Oh, do do the do uh when he when he gets days like that, do uh use the B. Okay. You'll do your wrestling moves. Yeah! You just flailed. <laughs> Boom! It worked. I don't have good hand-eye coordination. <laughs> it's just two different directions, and it wants me to do it at the same time. It's just not a thing that's gonna happen. Man. Sweet. I've never played on sweet mode before. It's quite, you know, it's being quite kind to you compared with how long I've had to do some of these fights. Even the first one. I mean, there is only two I, levels, so this like easy. Well, I mean, you unlock more as you when you beat the game on when you beat the game on normal or whatever. You unlock brutal. Okay. I can't tell what is being said on screen right now. You know, honestly, me either. <laughs> I think they're like remixing what your character is. Travis, by the way. I don't think we even established. Your Travis touchdown. Oh, you just... why? Your, your, your battery is dead. Oh. That blue box over there. Can't remember if it's blue or purple, but you can get into one of them and instantly get your battery back. But you gotta kick it with B. Or that works too. Okay, that was pizza, which you did not need. You know, if you didn't want to make the masturbatory motion in the middle of combat, <laughs> you were humping the ground a little bit there. Well, there we go. Battery max. Pop, bitch! <laughs> Just saying, you invaded his house. You killed all his butlers. And I'm still in the right, Michael. <laughs> I mean, assassin assassinating is a business, I suppose. Oh, come on, fight him off, fight him off. You can't tell how old he's supposed to be. His age seems very ambiguous. Yeah. The guy you're fighting right now. Yeah, like he's probably. He sounds older, but. He's probably like 200 years old. <laughs> like he's 22. A little bit. He's got all those rings in his. He's got all those push pins in his face. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> he he got him barefoot too. <laughs> flat footed. You, you were caught flat footed. And for that, you're about to get what you deserve. Just cut his hands off. The moment I'm yep. waiting for. The name Holy Sword is now yours. You're joking, right? I don't care about titles or power. I just want to be number one. Then because then that blonde haired woman will suck my cock. <laughs> to paradise, Ew, it got all over me. <clears throat> Your girlfriend's back. She's not your girlfriend yet. Eh, she doesn't have to know that. <laughs> you earned $107,945. I mean, we inherited all of his money, probably. Oh, look, some of the blood's still there. Oh, look at that. You gotta go do a thing. Knock, it, knock out that chest. If you can hit it. Seems your hand-eye coordination is carried over. More money and maximum vitality increase. That is a shitload of money that just came out Indeed. of that. Can I go beat up my girlfriend? No. Damn. She's not your girlfriend yet. That's just what she, she only thinks. She only dates winners. <laughs> I mean, I am a winner now. I'm not the winner. Nice kill, Travis. <laughs> I didn't think you had it in you. Because well, you're a then, bitch. Why are you walking funny? Something. Who are you fucking? Why don't you have sh why doesn't why doesn't the shade affect your coloration? Death, huh? True. What? 
Why does it kind of seem like your skirt just morphs into your legs? There's a gradient if you look close. <laughs> of any game you would expect a panty shot. It's true. I'm pretty sure there are gratuitous ones later on. Thank God. Again, same producers as uh, Lollipop Chainsaw. Yeah. And if I refuse... As the 10th ranked assassin, you are now a target for those who want to replace you. Anytime. Anywhere. Number 11 could be right around... It'd be really there. funny, it'd be really interesting if they did something with that, but they really don't. What? So what you're telling me the is... You don't ever have to worry about number 11. No way out of this. Or, you know, whatever you is to... Up, bitch. Quit your bitching and get with the program. There's only one road out of here. No turning back. Okay, how about this? If I become number one, will you do it with me? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe not. Come on, just once. <laughs> this totally doesn't fit at all. <laughs> I feel like I'm playing Ga Galaga now. Marvelous! And now you take his spot. Hooray! Marvelous! Oh shit, we got Star Fox there for a moment. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was funny.